In today's video, we are going to be going over different drills that you can use to be able to help improve your ability to score off the dribble. This is going to be for floaters, layups, as well as jump shots and three-point shots. And of course, hit that like button and subscribe for David because he put in a ton of work. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to do a quick, what I call diamond dribbling drill. Basically, you will set up pylons in a diamond. You do the crossovers as quick as possible. Either you're going to go between your legs, behind your back, whatever. You can mix things up. You can add in secondary crossovers at each pylon. It doesn't matter. But either way, you're going to finish with a floater. Next is the exact same drill, but you are going to then go into a layup. After you finish that layup, you are then going to potentially, depending on how you have it set up, pop out for a three-point shot. And that is exactly what we are doing right here. We're going to do an inside hand layup, and then we are going to pop out for that three-point shot. This is a very good drill to be able to do because now they are, after doing that layup, now, right at the end, the last crossover right here before David goes for that left hand inside hand layup, watch his shoulders. Watch how low he's able to get them. The lower you can get, especially when you are on offense trying to attack after you take your last dribble, is insanely important because you're going to then have leverage on your defender. So we need to train like that too popping out like if they are in a game so for example there's a lot of offenses that will have the player pop out to the three-point line that player will then take that three-point shot and then we can even expand this and to add in even more three-point shots as well so for example we can add in them lifting from the corner to the wing for a three-point shot, but we're going to see that a bit later. Now we are expanding on the exact same drill as what we've seen earlier, the left-hand layup, because whatever we do on the right side, we want to do on the left, and then popping for that three-point shot. Next, we are going to be going into a jump shot. This is extremely important because, of course, with the jump shot, the mid-range, mid-range is something that has disappeared in today's game over the last little while. However, we need to bring it back. You need to be a three-level scorer if you are looking to play at the university level or even the pro level. Now going with the theme of the drill, after they finish their shot, the main thing after the shooting off that dribble they are going to pop to the corner for the three-point shot again we need to be really good three-point shooters from the corner if you are not a good three-point shooter from the corner you will not be able to make it at the next level that is a shot that every single player whether you are a point guard shooting guard or center it doesn't matter you need to hit corner threes if you're looking to play university basketball Next, we are doing the, a similar drill, the exact same drill. However, now popping to the three-point line at the corner and then lifting to the wing. Lifting to the wing is extremely important because this is an off-ball movement that is made in-game. Cutting from that elbow down to, the, down to the corner is a movement that you see a lot of in baseline inbounds plays and then lifting from the corner baseline all the way up to the wing is another movement that you see a lot of in game that simple lift after somebody drives to the basket is extremely important because now that player who's driving to the basket can hit you with a pass your man is going to help off they're going to kick it to you you're going to have that open three-point shot every single time a very important teaching tip right here if we watch David is when he takes that quick jab forward, he takes a dribble at the same time. His right foot right here hits the ground at the same time as that ball. This is extremely important to allow yourself to not travel in game. Being able to match that dribble with that foot jab is important beyond belief. Some really important tips I would like to give and some teaching points is exactly what we see right here with David. He is already low into his, into, his sh into his shooting stance. As soon as he receives that ball, he pivots in, gets his body in line, and then he's able to lift for that shot. This is extremely important. 
Another teaching point is the inside hand layup. I know there's a lot of coaches who are 100% against the inside hand layup, but this is actually a good strategy to use when you are in game to be able to get your body between the ball and your defender. This is something that every single player needs to be able to learn. They need to be able to finish left and right hand around the rim, being able to use either their right or left foot in e either or any combination. I hope that this drill and these combinations of options in this drill help you become a better shooter off the dribble and better scorer off the dribble as well. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Also, comment down below and tell David that he did a fantastic job and worked really hard in this clip.